If you're injured and you still want to lose weight, there's hope. There's things that you can still do. So I'm going to cover five things that you can do to, well, five topics. And then there's things in each topic that you can do to still lose weight. So the first one is obviously in any weight loss program that the first thing is nailing down your nutrition. So now that you can't work out, now that you can't exercise, this is even more crucial, right? So um, first thing is you need to reevaluate your meal plan, your caloric intake, whatever plan you are following, you need to reevaluate and modify it. So um, for people in my group, they are using color-coded containers and there's a simple calculation. You just need to reevaluate that calculation and see exactly where you need to be. Um, if you're using like my fitness pal, then you and you're monitoring calories and those kind of things, macros and things, reevaluate and reprogram your my fitness pal so that it knows exactly where you need to be. So reevaluate reevaluate your caloric intake is first. Um, make sure you're getting six small meals a day. So if you do three large meals a day, then your blood sugar kind of goes on this roller coaster ride. If you do six, it keeps the blood sugar pretty even and that prevents overeating because when it's spiked high um, and then it drops down low, once it's in the low point, you're gonna say, oh, I want those carbs. Oh, I want those, those Twinkies or whatever. And so you don't want to do that. You wanna keep it low or kind of steady. Um, and that way you're not having these cravings. You're not hopefully not gonna overeat. So have six meals a day track your food. So this is when like my fitness pal comes in handy or if you're a pen and paper kind of person, make sure you are tracking it to the T. That way you can reevaluate in a week and see if you've made any progress. If you haven't, you can go back and see exactly where you might have gone wrong. So track your food. And then because you are eating less, because you obviously had to bring your caloric intake down because you're not exercising as much, because you're eating less, just make sure that the food that you're eating is full of vitamins, nutrients, cut out the refined carbohydrates, refined sugars, cut out processed food altogether, um, and maybe even get a multivitamin if you need to. That way you're still ensuring your body is full of nutrients and, and minerals. For me, I do this anyway. I drink a shake that's full of superfoods, full of nutrients and minerals, and so I get that in anyway. But make sure you're getting the vitamins in. Um, that's key. And then the Fifth thing on the nutrition side is drink your water. Make sure you're drinking a lot of water, maybe even up it to a gallon a day. Um, making sure you're flushing all, all the kind of um, toxins or impurities and just making sure everything is, is flowing, basically. Um, so nutrition, that's what I just covered. The second one is workouts. So with workouts, you obviously are going to not be able to do what you thought you wanted to do. You know, when you started your fitness program, you were all gung-ho, and now this injury is kind of putting a damper on things. So um, just keep moving, but obviously modify. So um, make them lower impact. If you injured something on your lower body, then do something upper body, like sitting in a chair and doing resistance band um, workouts or if you go to a gym and they have an upper body bike, do an upper body bike. If you injure something on the upper half of your body, then do squats or lunges or um, elliptical swimming, biking, um, jogging in a swimming pool helps as well. Those are all lower impact things. Um, so that's exercise. We covered nutrition, we've covered exercise. Now about your goals. So I'm sure you guys set high goals when you first started a fitness program. So now you just have to go and reevaluate. Maybe you said you want to lose two pounds a week. Maybe you have to cut it down to one pound a week. Or maybe just just look at that and reevaluate what's important and what you really would like to get out of this, especially considering your, your injury. Um, set other goals. So maybe set goals about increasing your strength or increasing your endurance or those kind of things and not so much on a number goal. Um, also, don't set a deadline for when your body needs to be back on track. Um, just focus on today. So make sure your nutrition's on point today. Make sure you get your, walk, your water in today. Make sure you do the best you can in the modified workouts today. So focus on today and increasing that every day. Don't set a deadline saying, I want this healed by this time because you might be disappointed. Um, just focus on today. 
Um, also, weigh yourself once a week. And not really so you can monitor weight loss so much as just to make sure you're staying steady. Um, if you do gain weight, you can see where you went wrong. Um, just to monitor, it's really that's what the, the weighing in every day is, or every week is for. Um, my fourth tip or fourth topic is if you can't work out your body, if you're injured, right? If you can't work out your body, work out your mind. So we'll start working on being more positive. Start um, doing positive affirmations for your, yourself because if your subconscious believes that you can't do it, it's not gonna happen. So you need to change your brain thinking. Um, I would recommend some kind of personal development book or audio or podcast. Um, some kind of personal growth item that you want to work on, whether it be like a religion or um, marriage or finances or just some motivational books, get your mind in the right spot because possibly this injury might be take longer than it, you want it to and you might get in the kind of emotional funk because of your injury. So don't um, stop your workouts and don't stop your emotional growth because you might hit that slump. You might not be able to work out for longer than you think. And you wanna be able to jump right back in the game when, when your body is ready. And if your emotion's not ready when your body's ready, it's not gonna happen. So make sure your mind is ready when your body is ready. Also, stay connected. So if you're in a fitness group, or if you're in a running club, or if you're any kind of like, if you're surrounded by positive people in the fitness or health community, don't withdraw. Don't step out of that group. Make sure you're still connected. Maybe you can't work out, but um, you can tell everyone how your eating has been that day, how much water you got in. You can be like, step up and be a coach to them and just motivate them. Um, don't step back because if you do step back, it's gonna be that much harder to jump in when your body is ready. And it'll be easier to come up with excuses when you take yourself out of that group. So if you withdraw, you'll be like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't deserve to lose weight or I, you're gonna have to start having that negative self-talk and I don't want that for you. So make sure you still stay connected. And then lastly, this is not one of my topics, but it's very important. Make sure you talk to your doctor about what you can and can't do. Um, ask them for advice, ask them what, what movements you could do. Ask them what they recommend because we don't want your injury to be made worse by pushing your body farther than it than it can go. So always, always talk to your doctor to see what you can do to um, help your weight loss as well. So let me recap the five topics. Nutrition, make sure it's on point. Especially if you're not gonna be able to work out and burn some of those calories, make sure it's on point and reevaluate how much you can be eating or should be eating. Second, um, you can't work out so much, modify it. Use lower impact workouts. Third, make goals. So reevaluate your goals and set new ones if you need to. Fourth, um, if you can't work out your body, work out your mind. So increase your, um, your positive self-talk and just keep growing so that when your body is ready, your mind is ready as well. And then fifth, stay connected to the people in your group. Stay connected with your fitness community, your running team, you know, um, maybe you're training for a marathon. Stay connected with those people that um, have been encouraging you the whole time. So those are my five topics. I hope that helped for you guys um, see how you can still lose weight because there are people out there. I've seen lots of people that are more, like morbidly obese and they really can't move. But when they change their nutrition, they lose lots of weight. I just um, watched one that uh, a lady that lost 150 pounds, no exercise. Like she was embarrassed to even talk about it because she felt like you had to exercise to lose weight. She lost 150 pounds by just changing her diet to clean eating, um, whole foods, those kind of things. So don't be discouraged if you're injured. I know it can be, so make sure you read your personal development books. But um, that, those are my tips, so I hope they help you, and I hope you continue on your weight loss journey.